mid-morning, so I wanted to do a light snippet on my way uh, to pick up some materials. And uh, the other day I made a video about contracts and people failing to read them. There's another important part to contracts. Even when you think that you completely understand everything that's in it, there's a proper way for restricting your endorsement, okay? We want to start practicing restricting our endorsement with all our rights reserved and intact. What that allows us to do is to go back in there in the event that we find something that is displeasing within the contract, it gives us the standing to go in there and, and correct what has done, been done that is incorrect or that is wrong and causing you harm, injury, and loss. So one of the ways that you're gonna restrict your endorsement is uh, all rights reserved without prejudice. And I don't personally like to use codes, and here's why. Their codes are trademarked, patented, and copywritten by them. And we don't have express written consent to utilize their codes, okay? The United States annotated code is their code. The, the statutes and, and provisions are their code. So what I like to use is plain English that every man, woman, and child can understand. And so we're going to do uh, without prejudice, without recourse, without commercial dishonor, all rights reserved, followed by our sign of nature on the right-hand side of the paper in blue ink indicating that we are engaging in commerce, okay? Colors do have an effect. Symbolism is a, a very large part of the things that are, do, that are done. And if you don't believe me, the next time you go to sign a loan, try and sign it in red ink. Try and sign it in black ink. They will not allow you to do that, okay? And there's a reason for that. Symbolism is present in our everyday life and, and, and has meaning and purpose. So again, to cover uh, and touch base on and reiterate on what I just touched upon is the restriction of your endorsement, making sure that you reserve all your rights to come back and challenge anything that you may have entered into uh, where full disclosure wasn't provided or a twisting of the language allowed these cretins to encroach upon you uh, without your knowledge. Uh, contracts are supposed to be written in plain English, ladies and gentlemen, and both parties are entitled to be fully aware of what the contract says, and in the event that uh, it's written up by some lawyer trying to be deceptive and mischievous in some way, restricting your endorsement, doing a qualified endorsement allows you to come back in and say, wait a minute, this isn't, that wasn't my intent when I signed it. Uh, through a twisting of the language and a manipulation of, uh, of the language and spelling, uh, there's been a, a indication of deception here. Uh, this is not what I agreed to. So I would encourage you guys to do that on the side of the road uh, when you're signing traffic tickets. Uh, remember, the Supreme Court, although it's just nothing more than somebody's opinion, uh, has clearly stated and stood firm on this. The state cannot be a victim, ladies and gentlemen. So your victimless crimes on the side of the road, remember to restrict your endorsement. You have 72 hours to rescind your, your sign of nature, your signature on those contracts because they are in fact contracts. Um, so remember that. And we find that to be true in Article 1, Section 10 of the United States Constitution, which gives us our, un it doesn't give us, let me correct my stance on this, doesn't give us our right to contract unlimited uh, right to contract. What it does is preserves our unlimited, unalienable right to contract. Well, if I say that you have an unlimited right to contract and it's unalienable, it's a God-given right to contract, um, I also equally say the opposite, that you also have the right not to contract or to rescind your signature if you so desire. In Nebraska, you'll find it in Article 1, Section 16 of the Nebraska Constitution. And again, in the United States, you'll find it in Article 1, Section 10. Very, very, very important. Now remember, he who slumbers upon his rights doesn't have any. If you fail to rescind your signature from a contract that you are forced to sign on the side of the road through threat, duress, and coercion, within 72 hours, you have acquiesced by tacit agreement to the terms and the conditions that apply in the contract. Very important to learn how to rescind your signature uh, and, and, and to move forward 
one of the uh, ways that I've been researching lately to sign tickets on the side of the road is pay to the drawer for, and then put your social security number on down there. Ladies and gentlemen, pay that note right there on the side of the road. Promissory note to pay, pay it right on the road. Pay to the drawer for, and then give your social security number. Make them offset and discharge that at the uh, state treasury department or the United States treasury department. Uh, that's something to think about, food for thought. I haven't executed that yet. Uh, and quite honestly, when I travel, I travel within the means or the provisions of the suggestions on the side of the road so I don't have those issues. However, uh, for those of you that have a little heavy foot or uh, get uh, carried away in traveling and not paying attention, um, that may have be, be beneficial information for you. Again, restricted qualified endorsements. They're extremely important, ladies and gentlemen, on every contract. Always reserve your rights, period. If it's not on the paper, it doesn't exist in a fictional world. Make sure it's on paper, make sure it's documented. And with that, I'd like to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, to have a beautiful, blessed day, and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon.